Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Amy. We are finally doing my Chanel 21K unboxings. These are super hot items that I could not wait to get my hands on and I was just hoping that I could. I almost couldn't. Also because I was waiting on the accessories to go with these things and I will show you all of those. Okay, I want to reveal this one first. I technically have already revealed this on my Instagram, so if you don't already follow me, definitely follow me on Instagram. It is the same name as my YouTube, which is Fashionably Amy. Sometimes I just feel like using my items right away and you'll see sneak peeks over there. And also, if you are my channel member, you would also have seen a preview of these. So the first item came in this box, which I'm guessing that they just had a little mix up, which I don't mind because anyway, it's just a box and it came in this dust bag which is quite large for the item that it is to reveal you know chanel there's no names um i would personally call this the top handle micro bag here is the front view of it as you can see stickers are off and um i have already been using it in fact this one has all my things in it i just leave everything inside yes i will do what's in my bag later to show you all the details i just can't stop using this little bag and i know it is a micro size but it fits so much more than you think and i know i got a lot of you guys converted to micro bags as well i would highly recommend this as a must-have if you are either a collector or just a chanel lover in general or just a bag lover in general and you just like to have variety this is not only super convenient and practical as a piece but it's also just super duper special it is in lambskin the lambskin has held up so beautifully i found that every time um let's say the chain got on it and just uh, maybe made an imprint it would just puff back which is what a lot of you say about chanel lambskin that is so durable and i absolutely think that the current season's lambskin is so so gorgeous and just the perfect uh, lambskin that will probably wear and tear quite quite well so as you can see i have been using mine for a while so even the bottom has straightened out already and the sides like i said my things are permanently in there i have my essentials car keys, lip balm, all the cards and cash. So yes, this is item number one. The difference between the 21K version and the 21A version, which was the first time that you would have seen all these micro bags on the runway, is that on the 21K, they have updated it to a uh, magnetic closure, which I think is brilliant. Of course, all the stickers have been off already. I have already been using it. As you can see, even the inside, um, I don't really see much scratch aside from maybe like this little imprint here, which is probably going to be very hard to see because it's so minimal. Like this lambskin, like I said, is just fantastic. It's made in France. Uh, you still get the authenticity card. They are in the 31 series now and it's a fabric line. It's just a wonderful, wonderful piece. And because of the current update, even though it is much more expensive in the current season they have increased by 30 over 30 percent in price wise which is insane if you ask me but i am happy that at least they are giving you uh, practicality more practicality which is the uh, magnetic button we'll do modeling shots we'll do what's my bag all of that after i unbox everything the second item came in this box now um it's gonna shock some of you maybe i don't know maybe uh maybe you can guess what it is it's a smaller box so is it jewelry those of you who like guessing then uh, go right ahead in the comment section but uh yes it is another piece of smaller the goods which comes with these cards in there and you get a dust bag like this which is very interesting because Normally, you would only get dust bags like this for handbags, right? Usually with SLGs, you get those um, those velvet ones to reveal. Oh, let me hold it properly. Item number two. I know, I know, I know. I went a little cray cray for this collection, but more specifically for micro bags. Um, 
yeah, I I got this one first. I got the black one first. Honestly, I could have stopped there, but when my essay um, show me this one, cause she found it when I was there, which was a few days after launch day. I didn't go in on launch day. This is very common from Chanel. They constantly have things trickling in over the whole period of that collection. And it is a known fact, but I think more so now during uh, you know, the pandemic more so than before, but uh, it's very common that they might not have everything on launch day and then a few days later or weeks later, they might receive more. Even sometimes all the way to like the following collection, they might still have some things that are trickling in from the previous collection. Anyway, when she told me that she found a pink one, I thought she meant something else, but no, she meant this one, which is the exact same bag that I bought and my essay knows how crazy I am about micro bags because I did buy two other in 21B just the season before which I will show all of you I'll compare all of these it is also a 31 series it is just fabric line tone on tone yes with a magnetic closure which I love in the happiest color in this gorgeous dark pink and it's so very hard to describe how this pink looks like. It's a true pink. It's not quite red uh, like my 18B raspberry red, uh, or I guess that one's also called the raspberry pink, but this one is just a dark pink. It's so much more vibrant and I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison. Red is my favorite color and anything that is in the family of red, especially as pretty as this, I would consider this almost as a red. Uh, in fact, I love this more than a true red sometimes because it's just more versatile and it's just so pretty and so happy as a color. Like I said, very girly, very feminine, but so fun. Um, it's a chameleon. So I could not pass this up. Of course, I have not used this version yet. Uh, this would be my first lambskin bag that is not black because everything else that I own in lambskin is black, I believe. Actually, that's not true, aside from the Dior bag, which is the opaline um, gray color. But that one is different because it's not Chanel lambskin, which is so soft. It's so buttery soft. It's so beautiful. But again, same thing with this one. I did notice that when I first got it, the chain did make an imprint just from inside the box. When I took it out, I just sort of buffed it and it just came right off. So it's a very, very good season for lambskin. Last but not least, and like I said, I will do all kinds of comparisons and sort of like a review of these items for you. Um, so let's just unbox all of them first. So this last item came in this still a small box, but a much uh, thicker and longer box than previously. Any guesses? <laughs> if you do watch my luxury live show, you would probably have a good idea of this could what this could be. And yes, it is another small leather good. And it came in another one of these dust bags. Again, yes. <laughs> to reveal, are you ready? This one is just, oh, it's just so cool. And um, it took me a while to track this down. Oh my gosh, it's so happy, right? The color. So this is also the 21K. Uh, this one actually had a name. It This one actually had a decent name on their website. It's called the Jewel Hook um, Coin Purse Card Holder with Jewel Hook, something like that. It, it actually had a proper name. And this is the Jewel Hook in question. It is so pretty. During the luxury live show where we had Siv as our guest, uh, I will link it up here if you haven't seen it. We shared all the pieces that were our favorite from the current collection. And this was literally everyone's favorite. I did mention during that live that I was after the black one and I did see the black one, the black on black, so the soul black version. However, the one that I saw had a little bit of a flaw, so I did not take it home. And so uh, I had to track down this one, which was no longer available. And finally, I tracked one down within Canada and got it shipped to me, 
much much later and I am so happy I pulled the trigger because it is just absolutely stunning I think for what it is especially compared to the price of these ones these ones are closer to 3000 for this one before tax and so this one was basically half the price which I thought was a steal in a way because even though they're not the same bag it's just so special the fact that they did a jewel hook uh, so this would come in super handy when I want to just change up the look it's definitely more summery as a color and I normally don't buy pink bags but I don't really consider these as real bags anyway they are more like they're more like accessories that I treat as a little wallet bag I'm definitely more open to colors now and just uh, not be so afraid of lambskin especially this year I have been really really getting used to the idea and the wear and tear this hook is very strong it doesn't it won't come off of your jeans or whatever very very easily like some people were afraid of um yeah this one has even more depth compared to this one so it, it's very similar but it it has a a slightly more depth than this one they're very very similar and lambskin is quite uh, um, flexible in comparison and this lambskin even feels harder than this this one so this lambskin is a bit softer than this one this one feels a little harder and sturdier but honestly this one has behaved so well just based on me using the black one so I'm not even afraid of this one uh, this one we'll see because it is a very light color. They are very very similar dimensions But the handle version is of course still a little bit taller and a little bit wider side by side You can see that this one is slightly wider But this one has slightly more depth it even has a little slip pocket in the back even though it's very very thin so you can slip some of your essential also 31 series tone on tone Okay, part of the reason why this unboxing was slightly delayed is because I was waiting on all of these accessories. This portion of the video is sponsored by Samorga. You might be wondering why do I even need chains and this thingy here for my micro bags because they all have chains. Well, actually, this one doesn't have any chains and I thought it would be such a fun idea to convert this into a crossbody bag as well. Not only that, if you own any of the Chanel or basically any brand's card holder that has a flap, it would work equally as well. This right here is an extender. So as you can see, one side has a clip and the other side is just part of the chain and it comes in two different lengths if you own any sort of belt bag or if you have any bags that are just missing that extra bit of length then this is something that you can consider and if you don't already know Samorga's chains are extremely good quality I would not otherwise recommend them it is just the shiniest of gold plating I believe they use 22 karat gold plating this one is gold plated in 22 karat gold this one is nickel plated it is just absolutely stunning kind of like a ruthenium uh, silver and this one is their new chain that is inspired by the Chanel chain it is absolutely stunning uh, has leather interwoven in it and it's skinny which is so versatile you can add it onto any bags honestly last but not least I also wanted to try the new pearl chain all of these have hooks and the way it works is you will need something like this which you may have already seen this this is a collaboration that my good friend here on youtube mel in melbourne did with samorga which is a brilliant brilliant design if you ask me so it is just a simple uh, sort of insert a flat insert that you would put into your card holders or in my case effectively convert something like this into a crossbody bag as well because it does have these little hooks and very funny some of you were asking me whether I think it would be a good uh, little purse to convert into a actual crossbody purse which I said to stay tuned because I'm gonna try it out for you guys it would basically fit into this little purse right here on the inside and these two tabs can stick out on the side and that's where you would have your chain attached it fits perfectly inside right it closes 
it closes just fine as you can see but now we are gonna add our chains those little loops are just hanging out on the side of the bag since this is actually a micro bag it is not just a card holder and it doesn't take up too too much space because these micro bags are so spacious as you will see in my what's in my bag it fits in perfectly and you can still close it and use it as not only as a top handle bag which is why one of the reasons why i had to track this down is because i was so attracted to this hook i thought i could use it as you know sort of like a little clutch hold it by hand but check this out this chain bit that is just dangling on each side and just hidden on right here on the side of the bag it is amazing if you got your hands on one of these let me know down below which version you got because I think it comes in pink, in black with gold. It also comes in the sole black with black leather, as well as the sole black hardware with white leather, which is so gorgeous. I would say if you got the white version, go with this hardware. This this is such a beautiful chain. This is the same as uh, this one, but just in this nickel plated version. Or if you want black and gold, very very stunning chanel inspired chain or if you just want to make it pearl make it even more jazzy <laughs> then go with the pearl version so i'm gonna try on everything for you guys and let me know which one is your favorite really not that easy to get it out because you see the hook it even has like a little teeth here so sometimes it even gets stuck on your loops don't worry about these uh, for this one I mean unless they break the part right here uh, which I hope they won't because it feels pretty solid to me if you ask me but unless they do that it's pretty much impossible to break and steal it from you but yeah even as a little top handle oh my god look at how cool it is and now if you add the chain also it just adds to the bag it just makes it a hundred percent even more glam than it is already oh gosh it's just so good there you have it same thing dangles very very perfectly actually adds a bit of edge to it huh because it's not all gold so you can change up the look too sometimes like that or if you have the black version with the so black hardware I think it's really really amazing if you get that one with this chain or the white version with the so black hardware it's just so cool look at this chain it's just so beautiful and shiny it's just these chains are just absolutely stunning like they are they are so well made and they don't feel cheap at all but they don't feel too heavy i've always recommended samorga accessories for your bags because they are truly the best quality and they know what they're doing oh my gosh this is so cool <laughs> oh my gosh i love even the silver on this one because silver and pink goes very well. Maybe I should have gotten the silver one to show you guys as well. But anyway, this one, I chose it in gold and black leather. It only comes in black leather so far. I wish they would make more color leather. So it would look like that. And the sides, they dangle like this. Right, and then if you drape it, it just looks like that. this one is so light because the the chain itself is so comfortable oh now i wish i have the black version i think the black version the black and gold would look so cute together with this but i don't think we got it at all the black and gold only the pink and the so black so that's how it looks like so good the chain is so comfortable and light so pretty i might need to buy some card holders now Anyway, I hope they make more of these in the future because I am definitely getting a black one so that I can use this chain. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
Oh my god, look, 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 guys. It's just so awesome. The pearl detail. Oh my gosh. It is so good, guys. I am not even joking. Oh my gosh. This looks amazing. Oh my gosh. This looks absolutely amazing. By the way, if you're wondering about my height, I am 5'4". So it sits uh, at a good at a good length for me because I like my micro bags to sit up a bit high. It's not too high. It's just on my rib cage where the hook is. That's why if you guys follow my channel, if you watch my videos, I told you guys to get this when it came out. I told you, I already told you guys to get it. And those of you who listen to me, then good for you because it's absolutely stunning. I love the height of this actually with the shorter strap. I mean, I don't mind this because I can use this inside my bigger jackets uh, in the summer. Uh, and it's still a good length. It's uh, on my hips sort of compare this one to. This one is also sort of lilac pink, I guess. So this one is even longer by a bit. See, it's a bit longer even. Oh my gosh, I'm decked out in micro bags, guys. <laughs> I am decked out in micro bags. It's so cool. This one being slightly longer, as you can see. And then this one is just whatever chain you put on it. Right, it's not really a shoulder bag to begin with. I am just obsessed with this one. See, it just looks so cool and so secure because it's right in front of you. Easy get in and out. Definitely smaller size than these, obviously. But it fits a ton because it has quite a bit of depth. It's going to be very good for traveling, which is the whole reason why I wanted it. However, for those of you who wanted to convert this into a crossbody, it's a very short crossbody even for myself. Um, you have to be you have to be very small chested and still it's kind of short. So let's try it out without the extender. So without the extender, it would just look like that, right? It's just not the most flattering, but it works. I like the fact that these extenders, it doesn't have too many hooks, so it doesn't look so weird. So now you've got this much more. It looks more of a proper length. It's still short, but you know, it's much better length than earlier. See, now it hits where I like it to be. And you've got a very beautiful gold plated chain extender and it just looks so much better now look the top of the bag sits exactly where this one is so with the extender it really makes it so much more versatile oh my gosh i love pink and gray it's just a perfect pop of color and this one is just so easy going because it's caviar but this one is just so pretty with uh, with the pink and the pearls, I mean, come on. So I do have these two micro bags from 21B. In 21B, it was all caviar. This one is the dark gray color from 21B. And this one is the lilac, pale lilac color from 21B with the Miss Coco chain. So the chain itself has the Coco as well as the CC on the chain, which is extra pretty. Basically the same uh, dimension as this on the outside um, uh, except that this one does have the chain part going through the inside so it does take up the top space of the bag so you lose the top area for the bag but otherwise it's the same size as this one for this one which is also available in the current 21k uh, collection but in a different hardware the boy belt bag yes this is a belt bag so I will link the video to the unboxings of these uh, this one is just so cute as a belt bag it has a lot of depth compared to these ones uh, I think this one is slightly 
I mean, they're very similar, but I think this one is very generous in, in terms of the depth itself and it's caviar and it's a boy style. The chain is also looped through the inside and it fits a ton. This one fits easily 30 cards in it, which is really, really amazing. I've already done what's in my bag in that video. Definitely have a watch in that video if you wanted to see what these two fit. Are you ready to see how much this little baby fits? It is amazing and it is just, it is a bag. It is micro, but it is a bag. Let me just tell you that right up front. So this is just an example of what it will fit. And it's just amazing. Like I said, amazing. So let's open her up. Right on top, you see my hand sanitizer. Yes, I did buy a mini so small spray bottle. Also, on top, we have full lipstick no problem at all. In fact, the lipsticks can stand up on the side of the bag, just like so, and it closes perfectly. It still has space on top, which is why when this was inside, it can make use of a little bit of the height. You see, it makes use of a little bit of that height from this bag. And because I have been using this one so much, even the bottom of the leather has stretched out already. So it has even more space now. So hand sanitizer, full-size lipstick, and then uh, on the bottom, like also horizontal, was just my car keys. So right there, my car keys. It was just sitting on the bottom underneath the lipstick. I also have my house keys, which I just took apart the keys and I just threw it in. And then you're left with still your essentials so a little bit of cash which folds perfectly in half a little bit of cash and just a few cards i have so i have four cards right here but you can put more than four cards but i honestly don't need more than four cards obviously it's still maybe not for everyone i'm not trying to convince all of you to get it but i'm just saying it fits way more than you think and it's 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 great maybe actually i could just lay my keys side by side with my card keys like that that way it doesn't even take up space on top <gasps> i think that works i think this might work guys i think this might work guys i am hopeful let's just see <gasps> it does it does okay so you just have to play a bit of tetris um obviously i was standing my keys up on this one because it's easier to grab them uh, and this one does have more space, but if you just play a bit of Tetris, just line your keys on the bottom, you don't need your keys constantly anyway, then there you have it. It fits perfectly inside this little bag. It, I mean, it, it, is, it, is up, it is up to the max. If you're wondering whether a card holder and a key holder fits, it does. So this is my Chanel card holder. It's a bit silly to put a card holder inside another wallet-ish type of bag, but it does fit. See? Well, if it fits a card holder, it should fit a key holder because the key holder is even less wide. It does have more depth, but it does fit. So if you're in a pinch, you could put your key holder in your bag and then put a few cards in the back. There you have it. These are all my new babies. I know a bit excessive, but I don't care. I just love these bags so much. They bring me so much happiness. I don't think that micro bags will replace a proper size bag if you're after your first bag. Unfortunately, I don't think so. But if you're like me and you love the trend and you also love the fact that you can be mostly hands-free and just very very lightweight like feather light these guys are your answer and they just hold everything you absolutely need you can get a pop of color so easily with these things uh, and just have fun with it because it doesn't break the bang actually look at the color of this i'm so happy that i got this color of the insert it just matches perfectly i hope that you guys enjoyed this video let me know which one you prefer which one is your favorite? And of course, don't forget to check out Samorga's website. I will have all of the items that I featured 
linked down below and you can also use my coupon code to save 20% at checkout so don't forget that when you check out because sometimes I check out too fast and I forget to apply my coupon so don't forget to do that also if you're new to my channel I would love to have you back please do consider subscribing you can also become my channel member by joining the membership that way you also get exclusive content that is only for members have a great rest of your week and I'll talk to you guys again very soon bye